my research was with the math department here, and we were focusing on a model, which has been around the mathematical literature, um, complements of soy sal and sahin, I feel I should cite them. Um, we studied their model to apply it to a case where if you have a swarm of things such as bees or we consider the case of robots, how likely things moving in random behavior aggregate and get into groups. Um, it's a lot of diagrams, but the model can be reduced to a case where we have matrices, which we can um, use a very nice theorem for, which gives us the long-term steady state, which, or you know the, um, the configuration of groups of these units where we can find the most probable if we let the model run. I guess kind of getting down to the, um, the specifics of it, we were able to find a, in a closed area, when you have a group of these units in and you know, they're aggregating together. We were able to find the size of the area where it is most likely, or the smallest area, where it's most likely to find things individually. So in the case of Gettysburg College, which um, kind of a nice photo here, um, if we have cases where robots are invading Gettysburg College and they can see a case of such as 50 feet, where um, that's the size where they get into groups and aggregate and such like that. Um, we, we can actually have mathematical proof where Gettysburg College can withstand an invasion of 252 of them, given that they see 50 feet around each other, they're likely to move randomly into groups of each other, and um, it's pretty much an application of a model using linear algebra, matrix theory, and um, the Peron-Frobenius theorem.